Oh, well, I'll just take a couple of snippets. Might all go downhill from here for all we know. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video I actually filmed and edited back in 2019 um, and I never got around to finishing it and so therefore didn't upload it. Um, but I finished it and so I'm going to upload it obviously if you're watching this I have. Um, but I just wanted to just clarify that this was an old video. I actually sold this horse before I went to Japan. So I no longer have him, um, but yeah, I thought that it would still be an inter interesting video uh, to watch. All right, enjoy. Hi guys, so for this video, I thought I would take you on my trip up to Cessnock to uh, try out a potential new project horse for myself. Uh, usually I wouldn't really bother going up to try a horse but it was at my friend um, Freya's the property where she keeps her horses um, so I thought I would go and visit her as well as try out um, this guy usually I'd just chuck them on a, a truck if I, I was interested and just give it a go um, but yeah so I headed up there um, the, the man who owned uh, him uh, is a good friend of Freya's family as well so he wasn't actually there we just did did our own thing which is quite unusual when you're going to try a horse um, but you know it was nice not having any any pressure of anyone else there um, and we're both experienced so you know we knew what we were doing and Freya had actually ridden him a couple of times uh, when he was racing so she she didn't know him that well but she knew him enough that you know we knew we'd be safe uh, so this was the first time I actually saw him uh, and this is Elvis so he's actually eight uh, and he was broken in oh I don't know if he was broken in at six but his first race was at six um, and he only had four starts and his last race was maybe October last year I'm not 100% sure but he wasn't very good as a racehorse um, and it's quite unusual that he only started racing at six. Um, but really my first impression of him, I was quite impressed. He just walked past Freya's boys without any worries. He didn't get worked up or hot and he was in the lead as well. He was a little reluctant to go forward, but nothing major. Um, you know, he'd been in this wash bay only maybe three times beforehand and he hadn't been up for quite a few months because um, he'd been turned out uh, he actually was um, in the tabulum fires up in northern New South Wales um, which is why he was down here now um, because where he was living got completely burnt out and he was lucky to be alive really him and his friend who his owner owned um, so we gave him a bit of a lunge because he had been turned out for uh, quite a few months um, and he was really good to lunge which I was um, surprised about because thoroughbreds often won't be very good at lunging because it's not something that they have to do. Um, so you can see he's a little tender on the ground. It was a gravel rock surface and he's got no shoes on um, so he was just a bit scratchy. Um, nothing a pair of shoes wouldn't fix but at, at home we just we mostly work on grass so he's fine barefoot um yeah so I just made sure that you know he had felt the saddle on him and I got Freya to hop on him first because usually if you're trying a horse you get the owner to hop on um and yeah so I just I made her get on first and she just walked him around um and then I hopped on and you know his back was really relaxed he's chomping a little bit at the bit but that's pretty um, normal for an x-ray source um, 
but you can see my reins are, you know, they're not at the buckle, but they're not tight either. Um, Cause you'll find if your reins, if you hold them too tightly and too tense, it's just gonna make the horse more tense. Um, and like I said, I felt quite relaxed on him. As soon as I sat on him, there was no indication of him going to do anything uh, with my reins that long, like the length that they are, I, I still could have control if I needed it. Um, you saw there he was a little bit, um, wanted to go back to his friend, but he walked on quite well. Um, he, you know, he's green, green is green, like doesn't really understand the leg. Um, doesn't steer awfully well you'll see here when he trots he's just a bit scratchy but relaxed not rushing like these are all ticks <laughs> tick 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 um like he's quite happy to move into the bit he's he's not avoiding it too much um he's stretching down which is great so as i was riding i was just thinking wow <laughs> His horse is wonderful, but his owner, um, from what I've heard, is a really wonderful horseman. So that's been the only racehorse trainer he's had. So he's had a really soft hand his whole ridden career. And as you can see, that's really made a difference. He's, he's not worried about being ridden um, and not worried about people. He's always been treated very fairly. Um, and I, I really felt, felt that when I rode him. Um, yeah it was really really nice um and you can find if they've been broken in a little bit late that they just i just find them a little bit more piggy um i guess but he wasn't showing too much of that a little tiny bit of but i want to go back to my friend why isn't he working but you know he's been turned out for so long that wasn't really um you know it wasn't a big shock that he would act like that um, so I just decided because he was so relaxed um, to take him around just along the outside of the arena it was there was a little flat space right along the edge on the outside of the arena because um, I wanted to feel how he felt when he wasn't scratchy uh, on the ground so you can see how it's a little look at things but he's just incredibly chilled um so i just gave him a little walk just let him look out and around um but you know he was taking comfort from freya being on the ground obviously um and he just he had no reason to be worried his friend was nearby yeah he was just very relaxed um and you'll see he moves a lot better um, when when he's on the grass so that way we knew that it was definitely just his feet there wasn't anything else going on um, that he also hadn't had his feet done in a while though they, they weren't in a bad way but that that would make a difference as well and they just had rain so it went from absolutely dry to their feet getting quite wet and um, that didn't help either so you see he just pops into the trot and just off he goes really easy to pull up um, really for what I was looking for there wasn't any kind of black marks against his name he did everything that I asked um, I did try a little canner I don't think I put that in the video because um, you couldn't really see it was going away from the video uh, from the camera as I see it's you know working in a frame already like he's just a very sweet little horse um, and I did end up uh, putting him on the truck and taking him home so that's him when he first arrived uh, at my house and he's quite happy and now he's out living with Bugsy old Bugsy boy I thought I would also include some video from about three or four months into Elvis's time with me, uh, just so you can see how he he ended up going after just a short amount of time. Um, yeah, he he stayed quite sweet. He he went around 
relatively happily. Uh, this is us just doing some jumping, um, which he ended up being relatively good at. I'm pretty sure he went to his new home on this day. I think we, we filmed this and then he got picked up uh, and went to his new house with his new person. But yeah, he's he was a pretty talented little jumper. We'll see here. hope you enjoyed that video please uh, like and comment and subscribe and all the rest of it uh, if you enjoyed it and if you're enjoying the videos that I'm putting out uh, yeah and I hope to see you for the next one